24 wheel of months is off to a hot start. Hey, send it to the dashboard. This puppy's over. This is the second episode. And as you can see, we're already a 76 overall. For anyone just joining us in Wheel of Mutt, our goal is to win a Super Bowl. The only problem is we start with the base silver team. Each episode, we can spin the Wheel of Mutt three times to build to our squad. And if we win the following game, we keep all those players. The loss wipes all of them. On top of that, we have our prestige players. Our prestige players are locked into our lineup no matter what we do. We get three to start every season. I selected Derwin James, Nick Bosa, and Jamar Chase. And in the season opener, we were able to secure 87 overall Kenny Pickett as our quarterback. We got some solid fill-in golds and core elites. We still don't have a tight end at all. Our wide receivers are atrocious. There are big holes on the O-line. And on defense, we were able to get some usable gold corners, some usable gold D-linemen. Nothing too fancy, but we did pick up Harrison Butker. It was truly the best season opener I have ever had. Our record is 1-0. and We need five wins to go to the playoffs. Let's get right into it. For our very first wheel spin, my targets are tight end, DBs, wide receivers. I would say those are my top three right there. Our wheel spin is house rules. We get 100K to spend on one player. We win only 25,000 if we lose. 25,000 coins will get us as good as an 81 overall. 100,000 can get us as good as I believe an 86. All right, he's starting out with the ball and he's gonna go with a stretch first thing. Shit, the pass. He's got absolutely nothing. The way this house rules works is X Factor start on. You've got to go first and 20 rather than first and 10. He's going to throw right here. I knew it. Oh, that's so depressing. I knew he's throwing that. I need the 87 overall say out, not 81. 81's a little too slow for that. This could be a run. If this is a run, I'm in trouble. Okay, it's not. We're good. Cross drag. That was a very nice ball, Bryce Young. Oh, that's us. Derwin's got it. We have a really good opportunity to win this game now. This is an aggressive blitz. Mm. I'm gonna try and run it. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I had Fred Taylor. Oh, wait a minute. Pickett has infinite room. Oh, he switched off. Pickett, dog status. Oh, this could be risky. Does he run commit? He does, Fred Taylor. Front flip. That's a guy who wants it. Oh, Damn! But play action, he wasn't having any of it. He's still gonna be in man coverage, I would imagine. Oh, he just got a DPI. I can throw anything. <laughs> Third and 25 DPI is massive. He just, he sold pretty hard right there. I'm gonna max protect and just run corner routes here. Kinda gotta look at Jamar Chase though. I don't think Kenneth Gainwell can really get open, but Jamar Chase can. Hang on! Oh, his feet were down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at those blocks. I'm gonna go inside zone Franco Harris. I'm gonna let this clock tick a little longer. I don't want him to have an opportunity to win this. I'm gonna snap it at three because he expects me to go to one. Snap it right here. Oh, go, 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 go. That was really bad power and accuracy. Do I hit that? Do I hit that? Thank you, Harrison Bucker, because Jake Moody would have shanked the piss out of that. Okay, we gotta defend for a little bit. I'm guessing pass, I'm playing back. I was about to say, he probably wants to get out of bounds. I'm guessing pass. I'm in cover three though. Oh, let's go, Derwin! Oh, Derwin could have just ended the ball game. If he has a tight end corner route, I'm in trouble. I assume he's going Canarius Tony, though. Wait, what the hell is he throwing? Eddie Jackson, I need you. <gasps> oh my god, I'm the most bailed man on planet Earth. Eddie Jackson absolutely whiffed that, but I guess it was enough to throw off DK Metcalf. And I'm going to go back there with Kenny Pickett is in! Why is Kenny Pickett in on prevent? He throws back across. There's absolutely no way why he's getting picketed. 100K to spend on one player. It's going to be a hell of a player. Like the most important position for me right now is tight end. We can go 84, 85. TJ Hawkinson is an option. Dallas Goddard is an option. Aconquo is an option. And 85 is Mark Andrews, but Mark Andrews is 120,000. So couldn't pick him up. Dallas Goddard, 80 speed. Really good route running. Solid catching. This is like a, this is a solid all around tight end, but his run blocking is not very good. DB, I could get 84 Sherman. I could get JC Horn. JC Horn is a super good corner. Dude, Pat Sertan. This is actually a really good good price for Pat Sertan too. 6'2", 202, 83 speed, 82. Oh, I have to, man. The value's here. I'm sorry, Dallas Goddard. I'm going Pat Sertan. PS2 is my pickup. Hey, starting us out with Patrick Sertan. I'm very glad we won that game. Damn. Getting him at that price is actually kind of crazy too. Our next one, 
three separate packs. This is actually much less helpful to us than it was before. Now we actually have to pull something good for it to be on our team. I'm gonna try the Headliners Fantasy Pack. Kalen Geiger, Kobe Bryant. Ooh, oh my God. I don't know how good he is. We'll check right after this. Damn, first round of the Headliners Fantasy. Got an 84. Round two's got a whole lot of nothing. I guess technically that's an upgrade on my current gold Jihad ward. Steven Sullivan. Okay, that round is dog shit. Martin Emerson Jr. 6'2", 84 speed, 86. Bro, he's like better than PS2. Well, pack one has a big upgrade with Martin Emerson. Pack two, I'm gonna go Headliners Heroes. Guarantees me an 84. Oh, oh. Oh, oh my god, I didn't get a tight end yet. I was thinking I already got a tight end. Why am I filling it? This is like a pack and play. I'm filling every position. Final pack, I'm gonna rock a mystery pack. They're just too fun to pass up on, man. Technically, I could have gone Triumph Elite or Legends, but ah, shit. It was a headliners pack. Don't gamble, kids. Unless I just pull a fucking 87 heater and my gambling pays off. This is a horrible pack. Yeah, it's not gonna do any good to me. So wide receivers are now Jamar Chase, Kalen Geiger, and Kenneth Gainwell. Still not the best, but we do have a Conquo at tight end. And then on defense, Defense. We'll put Martin Emerson as our DB1. He also has a built-in ability, so we'll make sure we activate that. DB2 gets to be Patrick Sertan. And DB3 can be Richard Sherman. He played really good. And MLB2, it could be either Ezekiel Turner or the upgraded Jihad Ward. Jihad Ward is 6'5", 74 speed. I'll rock him. Another episode with some excellent, excellent wheel spins right now. Our third wheel spin. Oh, is it going to be 87 blind? Actually, this is probably better. It just depends what division we get. I'll get one random NFL division. I can take any player from that division. I don't even have like a dream division in mind because I don't know what players available, but I think I want a wide receiver. Am I going to go NFC North for the Lions? Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, I was right there. All right, whatever. AFC South, the Texans, the Jaguars, the Colts, and the Titans. So the best Jaguars player is 87 Fred Taylor, but my 84 Fred Taylor has been great. So I'm going to rule that out. Colts don't have an 86, 87. We've already got Quentin Nelson and I don't need Jonathan Taylor. Damn, this is probably the worst division to get. Texans, do you have anything? Laramie Tunzel, John Mechie. Wait a minute, John Mechie's got to be so good, isn't he? Ew, whoa! 85 speed, 87 jump, great short route running, great acceleration and agility. Ooh, this is the move. All right, Texans. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the Texans came in clutch. Kenneth Gainwell, your reign as a wide receiver comes to an end. I'm sorry, buddy. Damn, John Mechie is so good. How does John Mechie stack up with Jamar? Faster, more jumping, catching, and catching traffic. Less spectacular catch, more short, same medium, a little bit less deep. John Mechie is significantly better. He's just shorter and only by an inch. Shit, don't tell my girlfriend that. My girlfriend thinks an inch is a mile. Doesn't even make sense. That literally doesn't even make sense. That's what I just said. Last but certainly not least is the challenge wheel. Completing the challenge is one pack of our choosing or we salvage a wheel spin. Ooh. We definitely got this last week. We'll see if we can get it this week. Our team needs to accumulate 85 fantasy points. PPR, by the way, this is PPR scoring. So I'm incentivized to throw the ball a little bit more than running it. But overall, I just need a lot of offense. Kenny Pickett, Martin Emerson, Derwin James, Andy. What do you got? 87 Drake London, Sauce Gardner, Jalen Ramsey. We got a ball game, boys. Will you be starting with a run play, sir? CJ Stroud behind center. It's play action. He'll heave. Oh, I talked shit about Pastor Dan. I said Emerson was better. He heard me. Lots of audibles from CJ Stroud. Another pass, play action, he throws. Basically the same thing. Same thing. Oh, big boy, Derwin. Derwin might be the most impactful prestige right now. He's made some nasty plays. Slot offset. I really don't like this defense. It's a scary defense or a scary offense. Okay, I like that though. No, Andre Swift breaks the tackle. He'll go with his first run of the day. Swallowed up. I don't like cover three here. And I think he agrees. Oh my God, bad ball. Oh, he threw a mallard. All right, we're going to switch it up on him. We're going DB blitz. I got to spook CJ Stroud into throwing a bad ball. Does D Swift block? He does. So I go cover. I'm on everything. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I risked it for the biscuit and there's no biscuits. We definitely want to get some receptions. Let's just take an easy one right here to Kalen Geiger. I really want this challenge wheel because I know this is going to be a tough game. We have to be ready in case... I'm not going to say it's not winnable. It's definitely a winnable game, but I have to secure this challenge wheel in case I can't win. Where's he usering? He is usering a super weird spot of the field. We get it into a conquo, the tight end. Three for three, 28 yards. A very efficient drive so far. Yeah, this is so weird. He's usering like the high safety. He shifts his line right. I've got stretch. We're going to go right side with this. 
Get around Jordan Poyer. Go! Fred Taylor! Dude, that turning sprint off is juking is way too strong. Hey, boys, enjoy it while you can, because I would bet my ass that gets nerfed. Oh, I'll go Fred Taylor underneath here. Easy pickup. Nice! Dude, I love Fred Taylor. We're going to go play action here. We're going to try and take it all. Oh, no! No! Oh, thank God we got it back. Oh, my God, I had a touchdown. Okay, this is zone. I can get this. I'm going for it. I'm looking at a Conqueror chase. Depends on where the user is. It's Jamar. Oh, shit, that's man. I can't get this. <laughs> Calculated! Holy shit! Risky ass double coverage! That's why you prestige Jamar Chase. Ties the ball game up. Adds to our challenge wheel fantasy points. I have a titanium set of gorilla nuts. They should put these things in a museum. I'm gonna send the blitz and I'm gonna guess pass. Oh shit. That's really bad. Pass for sure. Probably play action. Yes. I'm on this. I'm on this. I'm on it! No! Dude just robbed my pick! Oh, he's celebrating like he did something! Stroud, play action again! Heater! No way! Oh my god! Uh, the dig, I see it. He throws underneath. Damn it, there's two digs. He can throw halfback. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Damn it, throws that same thing. Whoa! Somebody tackle Drake London. I just got, I actually can stop him here. This is a really hard spot on the field to be on. He'll probably QB spy. Tampa 2? How is there nobody there? There's a light blue sitting right where he caught it. This is going to be a slugfest, boys. We got to play our best game. I'm going to go a Conquo early here. He's got some room to work with. Love that. Great broken tackle. 7 for 9, 73 yards and a touchdown. All right. Well, Jamar Chase was absolutely clamped, but Kalen Geiger isn't. So we already got eight receptions, 85 yards. So that's eight PPR points there. We've got the touchdown. Not going to try and do the math right now, but I think we're in a good spot. Not an amazing spot, but we're in a good spot. I had a few things to throw there. Franco Harris. Holy shit. Buddy, unhitch the trailer. Oh my God. He's so slow. If it ain't broke, don't fix those. Dude, we haven't gone to John Mechie. Let's feed the boy. Ah! Oh, he's fast. Oh, he's fast. John Mechie. Is he guarding Jamar Chase on this? Absolutely not. What? Holy shit. We just shanked the easiest throw of the game. Why did Jamar Chase just stop? Hey, yo, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Jamar Chase was on a slant. He stopped in the middle of the field. Dude, I, that entire succession of plays, I got to know what happened. That corner route, just clean pocket, fully clean, misses the throw. Okay, that sucks ass, I guess. But then Jamar Chase has a slant route. He dead stop. Why would you dead stop in the middle of a, of a slant? It's not a fucking hitch. Okay, so this play was very open last time I ran it to Mallory. Why? Why is it poor accuracy? I'm going to try the same thing. Please tell me what's going on here. That time I got hammered. Third and 16. Holy shit. Sacked again almost instantly. What just happened? All right, boys. Hey, like I said, it might be time to start thinking about the challenge wheel. He ends up getting single coverage over there. All right, well, we still got 10 minutes of football. We get the ball here. If we score, we can start to think about this again. But damn, I'm not going deep again. I can't hit these passes. It's time to make up for it. Franco Harris, stop his slant in the middle of his slant oh no that time that time john metchel that time the slant will run like a slant and i'll throw an interception that's a horrible ball i'm just tilted you know what's funny there though is if he had decided to chop down in the middle of his slant like jamar chase did that would have been a completion i kind of expect him to do that same thing he did on the tampa 2 so i'm gonna use her sertan and i'm gonna try and just steal it oh my god oh my god it was the exact thing i said and we don't you cannot read that any better Throws in the middle to Drake London. This is the same score from last game, except reverse. It's time to worry about fantasy points. We need 85 fantasy points as a team. Aconquo is wide open. Dude, where are you throwing? I'm, li I'm like genuinely confused. Not like, I'm not trying to be like ultra negative, but some of these throws are so like weirdly off. Even that was a poor accuracy throw. He's just standing in the pocket. Okay, Aconquo. That should just be, yeah, beautiful. Okay, uh, I could throw a lot of things here. I'll just take... A conquo? Break it. Oh! Oh, I had X. Look at X just butt naked over there. Ooh. Look at that. He's, he, he tried to get to it with a D line, and I respect that. A conquo gets in the end zone, and shit, we get more fantasy points if I go for two. I don't think it's a reception, but we get two points for it. Well, it's definitely not a reception, but we do get two points for it. John Mechie. 
Kenny Pickett just had a five throw stretch where he forgot how to play quarterback, but he remembered. Going with a man blitz here. Kind of got to be aggressive. Ooh, I know where you want to go. Martin Emerson! Oh my god, Martin Emerson. I'm not ready to give up on this play. It's gone poorly before, but I'm not ready to give up on it. John Mechie. What a ball from Kenny Pickett. A good juke, yes sir. So he's looking for it this time, but we got a Conquo. We are really using the drags right now, and they're going great. He's press covering Jamar Chase. He's inside, too. Oh, no, he sees it. He doesn't see a Conquo, though. Great. Dude, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Kenny Pickett's just back to perfect accuracy lasers. This game ain't over! Be smart, Matt. Same ball. Oh, bad ball. Not smart. I said be smart. Jamar Chase burnt his man. Absolutely torched him. It's first and goal. Jamar Chase in the middle. He's in! He's in! And my two-point conversion before, I'm not going to take another two-point conversion. I'm just going to take my points. It's it's one less fantasy point, but it's a six-point game right now. I'm going to stay ready for this drag from his tight end because I know it's what he wants. Yes. Oh, no. He has a deep middle. That was just a, it's such a good play. Oh, shit. <gasps> Bad ball. Oh, no. It was a great ball. I thought Derwin had an opportunity. Does he two clock here or will he be stupid again? If he's stupid again, I have a shot. I assume he runs it. Yes. Seau, get in there. Oh! Don't like a psycho with Seau. He wants this shit. Oh! Ah! 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 So close! Holy shit! Yeah, I knew he was gonna run that again. I knew he would. Now we just check the middle. Oh my god. Wait, are you serious? Fourth and goal from the eight. You gotta kick a field goal, dude. Please don't be weird. I was about to say, there's no pride in losing this. I didn't want to win like that. You obviously take a field goal here. Wait a minute. Oh, I should have gone for two. Oh, I should have gone for two last time. I genuinely can't win. With one time out, I cannot win. He was really struggling with five wide before, so let's see if that continues to be the case. Continues to be the case. That will be open every single time. Kalen Geiger is getting reps, ladies and gentlemen. Yup. And then he has to switch on to John Mechie gets picked off. You know what I have to do? I have some unlearning to do. I have all these bad habits. I gotta unlearn him, because that is a laser. This was a wake up call. Let's call it what it is. Second and three, I will use my timeout. On the off chance I can like somehow get a turnover, I want the fantasy points just in case I'm short. Very well could be. Strip it. Ooh, and that is all she wrote. A Andy J hands us the first loss of the season. You know, two things happened. Number one, I tilted and I started to play horrible. Wow, when I just started to miss open throws, I just like fell apart. Now it's time to count our fantasy points. So Pickett, three touchdowns, three interceptions. Trash game for him, but he still threw for 307 yards. We literally didn't run the ball. Fred Taylor had one for 27 yards. Receiving, we had Jamar with seven for 103 and two. Akanko with seven for 120 and one. So monster games there. And then and we also had Franco with three for 22. We had Mechie two for 41. Fred Taylor two for four. Galen Geiger two for 17. Yeah, so those are just nice little like, nice little PPR yards. One PAT and one two-point conversion. The final tally, gentlemen, Jamar Chase had 29. Pickett had 18.2. He lost a lot for those interceptions. Aconqua had 25. Franco Harris 5.2. Mechie 8.1. Fred with 5.1. Galen Geiger 3.7. Harrison Bucker added a point for a grand total of 95.3 fantasy points. Thank God. So we do hang on with our challenge wheel. And luckily we had those big drives down there at the end. Otherwise, there's absolutely no way we were getting to 95.3. Bummer to lose the game, but I'm not upset. My opponent played a good game. Uh, we had solid, similarly matched teams. And I made too many mistakes, threw some bad interceptions. Um, so I don't deserve to win that game. We're one and one. And now we have a decision to make. So we can salvage one wheel spin thanks to our challenge wheel. All right, gentlemen, my decision has been made. We're keeping John Mechie. There was a lot of value in keeping a Conquo and Emerson. That probably made more sense, but I don't know how realistically I can get a wide receiver like this back on my team. And hey, I'm excited, man. I've got some learning to do, obviously. With Madden 24, whiffed a lot of passes today, but that just means there's room for improvement. We're one and one. We've still got some good steam. Two more losses, and I'm booted for more wins, and I head to the playoffs. I love you, boys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.